Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Mace 8, playing the Road 56 mod as Liechtenstein. Yes, this is in the game. In the mod, rather. So I'm, ba I'm basically continuing this because I think it's funny to see what these little micronations can do. Probably not going to end up joining any wars because at the moment we have no army worth a damn. So we're getting this infantry template one, which is literally just a two with infantry division because that's all I can produce at the moment. But I'm just going to keep going with it and see what, and see how it works. On that note, I've decided that I am going to be uploading these micronation country playthroughs on on Fridays just to give myself a break from the from the usual stuff. Said. Get into it. So as it stands, I am basically wait waiting for this to complete, then this, and then try and get try and get as much much of this as possible to gain an extra research slot. The re resource mill wouldn't be steel mill wouldn't be bad. Actually, like, try and get to Liechtenstein University, and then possibly go back over here and start. Getting some going through the rest of this focus tree. What's this? Hmm. Five hundred units of infantry equipment up pile. That one would save some power on going to volunteer only. That's a while away anyway. And now look at the Liechtenstein army. See who can we show field commanders? Hmm. We currently don't have any. Let's train them up full, full time then. Oh, who do I want? I'll leave that for now. Let's see, I'm saving up to get um, Relief of Command just so I can get the extra XP quicker. And it'll make the remaining advisors cheaper. And then, hmm, I'm going to go with the theater training because brain XP train gates would be very helpful. Up from that, building up as much stuff as I can because we are going to need the. Minium, probably need, need as well. We're gonna need steel. Wait until wait until sniper teams ready. If I can add cavalry recon, which much given how slow these are. But, ooh, look at how much support artillery. It does seriously screw around with our organization. That's the soft attack. And we're still we're still gaining in the manpower because Certain buff we have. The total quality thing. Need more than nine pack. Ooh. Oh. I need the steel mill, so I might as well do this now. Oh, and Monastery has been annexed. About. Well, our state has died, so his great nephew. 
see them. We got a massive population influx. Mr. Stability and RC Fighter. So, balance foreign policy. Hmm. In order to get that, we need German investment. So, To go with. Hey, I'm gonna go with that just so I can get the just so I can get the extra factory and then the buy agency. But well, there's nothing stopping me from going. Internet with international neutrality. And then doubling back and going for Allied support or Swiss cooperation. Hmm. Be interesting. something all the way now this yeah we're not going to go off on the offensive we just can't uh, support or interception probably interception like we're not like too much here from that well that's unexpected as democratic or authoritarian Liechtenstein, it's a mod, uh, an achievement mod, have over 10,000 people in manpower in the fields. Just from <laughs> creating the I think four of these divisions. <laughs> I did not expect that. Right, we got our, sp our spy agency, so where is he? Otto Schädler instead of our Gustav Schädler. That's slightly more because of the balance of power thing, but the difference. Makes them more effective at infiltrating, whereas this makes them. Yeah, or I think this is probably more useful. Now, might not be a bad shoot. Yes, because factories. Hmm. Might as well get this because. More factories, isn't it? Now I have three, three slots already. Naval mission efficiency. <laughs> it's just what the hell are we gonna do? Gunboats in the Rhine? All right, our first spy. Liechtensteiner, party nationality, and German. No, a, a seducer is much harder to spot, but. He's going to be a lot harder to spot in, in Germany, and we probably do need that. 
see. Can I afford to kill? Nope. I don't have enough factories to build anything there either. Oh well. I should. Better field artillery? I think so. As expected. So I can either go with the Liechtensteiner Naval Academy or the Rhine Gunboat. Which would then let me to go into the pencil gun. You know what? Let's just do this. Like, I know this is silly, but well, let's see what happens with Germans do it, doing German things. Oh, yeah, that's another little uh, micronation carp Ukraine. Oh, they They have one to three divisions versus thirteen to twenty nine. They're not going to last against Hungary. Yep, Germany is expanding again. So let's spine them, maybe some stuff to the I have almost nothing to oh, more immigrants, yay. Almost nothing to spend my political power on, so I'm just gonna get a cheap of the navy just to fill up the slot. Like I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. But why not? Alright, let's go enact the 1921 Defense Act, which will put me at volunteer only rather than disarmed. Probably not enough to make a major difference, but do it anyway. Well, we can actually revitalize old princely talent, which means we gain sort of brutal population or lower our debuff a little bit. Gain a field marshal, another field marshal, and a general. Why not? Let's see. And I'll stick with this guy because he's less likely to get get injured in combat, and he'll and he won't gain it more slow slowly. So give our field marshal who do I want? Keep of navy or old guard? It's the inflexible strategist, so extra defense and logistics, or infantry leader. Extra defense and logistics would be a good shout for him. Unyielding defender? Yes, please. Of course, now we're going to start building up this. So 90% of 1.5%. I'd say we might soon have enough to start. more infantry. How much does this cost? 4,000 additional manpower? Me as well. And we still haven't finished mobilizing the full amount that we can at the moment. Bonds. Say the war is going to break out is going to break out very very soon. Present hasn't yet. I spoke too soon. So now we should soon have enough um attention to reintroduce conscription. Which will buff our war support a little bit. Yeah, most of them are going to have a slightly 
slightly lower opinion of us, but hey, there's a war on our doorstep. Let's see, arms neutrality. Do do do. Right, Poland has capitulated, so we produce some conscription. No, the neighbors won't be too happy, but um, there's a war on our side. Ooh, Finland has joined the Northern European Treaty Organization with. Iceland and Sweden. Which, if this is got, like the last few games I've played, means Britain will end up declaring war on them by declaring Iceland. This is going to be, I'll say, interesting. Yep, the USSR is declared on Finland, which means Sweden is going to be joining that. that. As well, Iceland. Germany, of course, is pre prepping a war goal against Belgium. The world has gone to crazy. <laughs> Got this in university. That's no use to me. We go and get. Hmm. In international neutrality, we can expand our spy networks. Ooh, I do like that. Expand the spy network means, I mean, operations would be cheaper and less risky. Hmm. Now I think I might just go with that. Oh. And our population wants conscription. So limited conscription plus conscription reintroduced plus total equality means we get. Hang on, how much is that? Right. Ah. I know I guess seven and a half is eight and a half percent of our population will be mobilized. We're going to gain two hundred manpower a week. Thing. It looks like Paris is about to fall any minute now. Up for a say. Yes, yep. Business interests. That's pretty much expected. Oh, it looks like Mets still has something there. Wonder how long they'll hold out. Had a few games where they've managed to hold there for a very long time, like several months, several months, or even years. Stockholm has fallen to the Soviets. Obviously, did a naval landing here as well. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes. 
I'll leave it there for now. Norway has just fallen. Sweden has, and Finland have pretty much fallen to the Soviets. Iceland is thing. Denmark, uh, Greenland has now uh, controlled by the UK and Australia. Apart from this tiny inaccessible section here that nobody can get into. There's almost no garrison whatsoever. So yeah, that's going to be it for now. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.